Hello everyone, welcome to Kester Squad. So today in this video, I will guide you how you can apply for Hong Kong Polytechnic University under PhD Fellowship Scheme. So before I start my video, please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon button. Let's start the video. So guys, you see this is the home page of Hong Kong Polytechnic University. And here you can see this is education, admissions, research, knowledge transfer, global campus life and about Polytechnic University. So first uh, if we go to educations and here you can see teaching and learning, broad based curriculum for holistic academic development and here faculties and schools. So click here. So here are over 30 academic units across six faculties and two schools offer a wide exposure to different academic disciplines. So if you click here, then you can see the faculty of applied science and textiles. And by clicking here, you can see the faculty of business, design, engineering, construction and environment, health and social science, hotel and tourism management and humanities. So check the faculty according to your field. So for example, I click here engineering. So from here, you can check the uh, study uh, by clicking here undergraduate programs and uh, taught postgraduate programs or research postgraduate programs then experience and opportunities research news and events publications so if you scroll down then here you can see different departments the links of departments and uh, click your relevant department so for example i click here electrical engineering so guys this is the uh, home page of electrical engineering department and at the top here you can see about us and uh, from here you can check the staff committees career opportunities so if you click here our staff then this is academic staff of electrical engineering so from here you can check the professor of your relevant field so guys when you select the professor then you will send the email to that professor and ask for supervision so when professor will uh, send you approval by email so when you get the approval from professor then go back to the main page of hong kong polytechnic university and uh, here uh, scroll down and here you can see uh, phd fellowship scheme because you are applying for uh, phd fellowship scheme then click here and uh, at the top here you can see how to apply then click here how to apply so this is the hong kong phd fellowship scheme 2022-23 scroll down how to apply here are four steps admission requirement academic qualification hkpfs candidates should possess an MPhil or a research postgraduate degree with a dissertation as an award requirement conferred by a recognized university for three year PhD programs or a bachelor degree with first class honors or a master degree conferred by a recognized university for four year PhD programs. And the English requirement is exempted for candidates who have obtained a degree awarded by institution where the medium of instruction was English. And if the medium of instruction was not English, from where you get uh, previous degrees then you have to submit IELTS 6.5 or TOEFL 550 for paper based test and TOEFL uh, 80 marks for internet based test all English language test scores are considered valid for two years after the date of the test in others HKPFS candidates should also possess the following attributes cultural diversity, leadership ability, social responsibility, communication and interpersonal skills. So second is application procedure, click here. In application procedure, there are two steps. First is submission of initial application. Each applicant is allowed to make one initial application only to the Research Grant Council RGC through the Hong Kong PhD Fellowship Scheme HKPFS electronic system to obtain a HKPFS reference number first by 1st december 2021 at hong kong time so guys i already upload the video on my channel how you can apply for initial application so you can visit my channel and you can see the process of initial application and i will give the link of that video in description so you can check the video in description also 
indicate the preference on the institution if two institution are chosen instead of one no change to the choice of institution preferences is, is allowed after application submission please read the fact available at the rgc website before submitting the initial application to the rgc so after submitting the initial application the second step is submit a full application and pay the application fee via e admission system on or before 1st december 2021 at hong kong time so applicant is reminded to submit two separate full applications online if he she has chosen two polytechnic university programs from two different departments an application fee is required for each full application so if you are applying for two departments then you have to pay the separate fee for all departments if two polytechnic university programs belongs to two research areas of a program offered by the same department only one full application is required so if you apply for two research areas but the department is same then uh, you will uh, pay the fee of one department nominate two academic referees who can comment on your academic performance so next is application period each hkpfs applicant received by p polytechnic university will concurrently be processed as a normal applicant for phd admission so dates is 1st september 2021 at hong kong time uh, call for applications start on 1st september and the deadline for submitting initial application to the research grant council is 1st december 2021 deadline for submission of full application and payment is also 1st december 2021 and uh, in march or april 2022 notification of result by rgc via email you will receive if you are selected next is application fee and payment method a non refundable fee of this will be charged for each application applicant should settle the application fee upon submission of each application by the specified deadline otherwise the application will not be further processed applicants are advised to use visa or mastercard to do so please click here to view the details on payment method so by clicking here you can check the details of payment method and so from here check the details of payment method how you can pay the fee of application so if you go to application procedure then here you can see e admission system so we will submit the full application by clicking here first you have to sign up so just click here sign me up enter your email address password then confirm password and your password will be minimum 8 alpha numeric characters so after creating account just click here next so when you create account here you can see what kind of identity document will you hold at the commencement of your study at polytechnic university so if you have hk permanent id card then click here if you have student visa then click here and otherwise click here others an entry permit for i a n immigration arrangements for non local graduates yes or no so click here yes so click here next third is personal information so here you have to enter your surname then given name and if you have your chinese name then click here write here your chinese name from here select your gender date of birth and uh, your nationality country region your province so here write your mainland id card number so write your identity card number and uh, here from here select your country then uh, write your address in three lines you can write in one line this is optional then from here select your country code mobile number write mobile number and uh, if you have telephone number then write here and if you are disabled or special educational needs then from here select according to you and then check this 
I confirm that I have read and understood the personal information collection statement of Polytechnic University and notice for applicant from the European Economic Area. So click here, sign up. When you create your account, you will receive a code in your email. Then enter this code and click submit. So after submitting, um, you can see this page. Welcome to Polytechnic online application platform. Let's start your new application below. Start new application. Click here. So if you are applying for bachelor degree and sub degree, click here. Taught postgraduate degree, click here. Or you can, if you are applying for research postgraduate, then click here. So mode of study uh, select from. So in mode of study, select according to you full time or part time or online. Do you apply for Hong Kong PhD Fellowship Scheme HKPFS? Yes. Then write here the HKPFS reference number. So write your reference number here. So from here select your department. Select your program choice. then select the research area so check this and click here start a new application so uh, from here you can edit your personal information program choices and uh, if you scroll down here you have to add your qualifications then other information additional documents and uh, after submitting all these documents, review and submit an application. So click here, add. So first is post secondary qualification and this is compulsory. So click here. So give the information of your post secondary qualifications. If you have one degree, two degrees, then uh, give the information. So is it your present studying qualification? Yes or no? then from here select the dates or your time period of your degree you have already then from here select the mode full time part time select the country and uh, medium of instruction are you studied in english chinese arabic so select according to you then field of study and this is optional if you want to specify your ranking your university ranking in the world region or country then right here and if you do not um, specify then just leave this and after filling these options just click here next so when you give the basic information next is curriculum so from here select dad degree uh, which information you give in previous page so from here select your bachelor degree if you give the information of bachelor degree in previous page so from here select your means of qualification your degree is coursework your degree is coursework and research both or only research so from here name of program or award qualification status and uh, if you received your degree already then write here your GPA otherwise click here no official GPA showing in transcript and um, if you want to specify your rank in class this is optional third is transcript so upload your transcript of degree so just click here choose a file or you can drag the file here and after uploading the transcript just click here save and add so when you enter your bachelor degree information then again from here select is it your present studying qualification yes or no then fill these three uh, steps just um, like uh, before you enter all information just in previous uh, if you enter your bachelor degree information and then fill the form according to your master degree information and then after filling this and upload the transcript and click save and add so after giving the information of your degrees just here from here go back
and from here uh, give the other information so here add your employment add professional qualification add extracurricular activities voluntary work community service add training or internship prize and award publications past research experience and academic referees so these are optionals but last two these are compulsory so fill these all according to you please provide your past experience or participation in research project maximum 7500 characters including spaces second question is please provide your proposed research topic and maximum 500 characters including spaces so give the information of these three questions give the answer of these three questions according to you and then click here save and in add academic referees so first the title of your referee if uh, your referee is professor doctor mr miss anything and write the last name and given of your, your referee then select the institution or organization of your referee your referee position relationship your relationship with referee and email address of your referee then select the country region area code and phone number country region area code or fax number and after giving this information just click here save and add so if you want to add your uh, second referee then give the information of your second referee and then click again save and go back next is additional documents click here add and if you have any additional documents for example if you have any research proposal you have any award any type of document uh, which can help you um, for getting a scholarship so just from here select the type of document and uh, upload the file of that document and then click here save and add so after uh, filling all these informations if you want to review your application then click here review and then uh, after click here review and submit click here uh, declaration check these two i declare that the information given in score of this application is accurate and complete so just to uh, uh, check these boxes and click here submit application so hope you guys understand how you can apply for hong kong polytechnic university under phd fellowship scheme so so for initial application how you can apply for initial application you can check my previous video and i will give the link of that video in description so first you have to submit your initial application after submitting initial application you will receive reference number by email and uh, when you receive reference number then you can apply for um, universities under phd fellowship scheme so hope you guys understand if you have any question then ask me in comment section i will be happy to answer all your queries if you like my video please subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon button see you in another interesting and informative video take care bye bye